Good late Saturday evening. I am certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on this December 15th of 2018. Today looked a heck of a lot better compared to yesterday. We were dealing with the backside of a stubborn storm system yesterday that kept many of you in the clouds, fog for some of you, not to mention raw temperatures, especially late yesterday afternoon and into last night. Thankfully, this go around, our Saturday looked a lot better, for, especially from our time lapse of Indigo Sky Casino just outside of Seneca, Missouri. Quiet skies to start the day, but from sunrise to sunset, nothing but pretty much open blue skies. Maybe a few high clouds here or there, but definitely a much brighter day this go around. Seven of the range line at about a quarter to ten on the Saturday night, looking calm below and in the skies above too. A high of 54, that's where we topped out today at the Joplin Regional Airport, warmer than our average high of 47. Impressive rebound after we started at 27 degrees this morning. Case in point, which, or as a matter of fact, rather, 27 is where we should be starting out on a normal day in the middle of December. So we're in good shape there. 34 in Joplin at about a quarter to 10 o'clock on the Saturday night. Thankfully, we have a calm breeze, so we're not worried about a wind chill for the time being. Look at how the humidity is really climbing up at 82%. This time around, though, we're seeing the humidity rise because of cloud cover building in from the west. So we're not going to worry too much about any fog potential as we go into the overnight. Before we get to where we're going, have a look at the entire area temperature-wise today. We have started cold in the upper 20s to near 30 degrees. Nice rebound with light breezes and plenty of open blue skies today. We have mid-50s for most. Even a few spots like Chanute and Parsons pushing 57 today. That's a quite a good jump from a cold start this morning. But because we still have some clear skies and a light breeze, especially to start the evening out, look at how fast temperatures tanked. 31 in Pittsburgh, Fort Scott, Nevada, while the ocean's at 37, and we have some lower 40s around Cassville and Bentonville. Overall, though, it's because of the clear skies that we had to start the evening out and this light breeze that continues to hold over the area. That is why we dropped off so quickly. Thankfully, we are done with our last storm system. We had quiet skies today. Now, from the west, we're starting to see some cloud cover thicken up a bit and work on through. So we'll go ahead and say partly cloudy skies. Just periods of on and off cloud cover throughout the night. No threatening weather to worry about. In fact, we can thank the clouds for coming in because that should prevent us from turning too much colder from here on now, especially as we go into the rest of the night. A look at the surface map shows our next cold front just to the north. It won't have a good punch to it. It doesn't have much in the way of moisture to work with, so we're not going to see rain chances as this works in by Monday and Tuesday. It's just going to mainly keep temperatures in check, with mainly mid-50s for highs expected both days. And at the upper levels of the jet stream, our last storm system continues to venture off toward the northeast. We have a cutoff low we're watching just south of Los Angeles, while a vigorous upper low continues to churn in the Gulf of Alaska. That will send some more storm systems our way, especially as we get closer to the Christmas holiday and into the final days of 2018. Those details you can find in Doug's extended forecast on the uh, KOAMnewsnow.com and our uh, long-range forecast based off his pattern. In the short term, though, we'll continue with on and off cloud cover as we go throughout the night. And thankfully, that cloud cover will prevent temperatures from getting too cold around here, no matter where you are to start your Sunday morning out, though. In the outlying areas or in Joplin, will be cold to start. 28 to about 30 degrees for many locations to start your Sunday morning out. But like today, we'll have mostly sunny skies waiting for us to take us through the rest of your Sunday. Couple that with a light west breeze at 5 to 10. That means 51 by lunchtime and a good jump to 56 degrees in Joplin for your Sunday afternoon high. Outside of Joplin, everybody should at least go into the mid-50s. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some upper 50s before the evening is uh, make that the afternoon is all said and done, especially as you go into green country in northeastern Oklahoma. What lies ahead of us beyond the end of the weekend tomorrow? Well, let's run through this wide view of the future track here. We have a quick little upper ridge that will work over us as we go into Monday. That will keep us quiet overall, despite us having a cold front work on through. So thankfully, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, before we see our next wave out west work in, we'll keep things quiet around here with partly the mostly sunny skies. As we go into Wednesday, we may start Wednesday off on a dry note, but with this first wave sneaking in from the west, we will have quite a bit of cloud cover building in. 
And it doesn't look like until Wednesday afternoon, that is when the system will try to pull up some enough moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and get some rain chances going. That should continue as we head into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. And the latest run of things may have us starting with some rain Thursday, but we'll clear things out as we go into Thursday afternoon. As far as how the rest of the seven-day forecast goes, well, let's recap tomorrow, and we'll go from there. 56 with mostly sunny skies, a chilly day, but another nice-looking day to wrap up this weekend with. Let's go 55 Monday with partly sunny skies, maybe a hair warmer on Tuesday with highs near 57. Then that wave out of California comes on in with some rain chances Wednesday going into Thursday morning. Let's say 53 Wednesday and only in the 40s for Thursday afternoon. Then behind that wave, it will be a cold start Friday with lows near 32. Then we'll jump to 45 Friday, 54 for Saturday. Then we'll see if we can get a few more systems to sneak in here by the time we get closer to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Have a good night. Have a great Sunday.